Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, June 3rd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will still be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. Second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, ticker symbol NVOS, very eventful day to day. And now we have ourselves a good solid pattern here as we head into next week. So let's get this pattern drawn into play. And first part of the pattern, gonna get this trend line into play right there as the support portion. So I'll change that to green. And then right here, we have across the top this area of resistance at that point. And then make the pattern easier to see. Let's keep it one color. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the explosion up here. A few golfers out there. I'll try to make a little bit more visual. Put the golf hole down here. And now we have a bull pennant pattern. Now, just because something's bullish in pattern does not mean that for sure or guaranteed it's going to go upwards. But my point here is, is it at least plausible? Is it valid to think if this thing can go through a health consolidation, healthy being defined as staying above the upper part of that lower trend line, and then come up there and break up through it? Could that break in of itself, even if you just want to call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, could that produce additional upside buying pressure and momentum? That is certainly a plausible outcome. Again, not guaranteed, but a rational way to go about it. So if you like this price range, you like bull pennants, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one, BNAI. And speaking of bull pennants, oh, here is a recent example of a bull pennant. Got the break right there and the rest is history. Now, I'm not saying that every single bull pennant has that massive of an explosion, but just pointing out uh, that, you know, here's a real life example of a bull pennant followed by the, the conclusions of it. But nonetheless, monster day to day. So certainly updates need to be made. So let's map out the level of supports first. So change that to green. And the ideal of them, if you say, Clay, you know, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay above $5.20. With that being said, if the price falls below it, that doesn't mean the entire chart's destroyed or epically ruined. Because from a bigger picture standpoint, just watch that purple line down there, 50 period moving average. Keyword definitely being moving because I understand it's very irrelevant right now being down here. But as time goes by, that line's going to move itself higher and higher and get more and more relevant. So from a big picture point of view, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls are in full control of the overall chart. In terms of levels of resistance, nothing fancy or complicated here. Literally just a question of where did the party essentially stop today? And that was up there right around $8.25. So keep an eye on that. And then if you wanted to, uh, maybe some would disagree with this. Uh, you got a little bit of a, a bull flag pattern here that's forming. But more of the story, monster volume, very nice price movement. So let's see if this momentum carries into Monday. Next one, FFIE still remains a very popular uh, stock out there, which is why I want to quickly cover it. And I just say that because from a big picture standpoint, nothing has occurred. Now, I realize that today, sure, it gapped up, it came down, leveled out, starting to head back up here. But just from a bigger picture, the sideways channel pattern, which I've talked about in past videos, is still fully in effect. So from that angle, like I said, nothing new to really report. Still have the top of the channel resistance up there at 75 cents, bottom of the channel support down there at 37 cents. But besides that, the main question still remains in play. Who is ultimately going to win the battle? Are the Bulls going to win with a break to the upside or are the Bears going to win with a break to the downside? That is the main question mark moving forward. So it's really as straightforward as that at this point in time, just sideways channel pattern on the 30 minute time frame. Next one, SQQQ, wild day on this one. And as I speak right now, very nasty pullback here, last 30 minutes, as I, and that's why I like to use when the market's open, like I said, because as I talk, this thing is pushing down to new lows here during the last 30 minutes. With all that being said, yes, there's no doubt about it. That could have been better. There has been a pullback here. You, you can't take away that at all. But that is more of a near-term standpoint, because if you care about the big picture, then you will acknowledge, well, sure, Clay, fair enough. There's a pullback right now, but what was happening before the pullback? And from that angle, you'd say, well, before the pullback, there's this big old move right here, which is now giving me the ability to draw a bull flag pattern. So it's all about perspective. I fully understand if you're a day trader and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within 10 minutes. From that standpoint, the chart is looking terrible. But from the bigger picture standpoint, you still have that bull flag pattern. So at this point, in fact, I'm going to just get rid of that line down there. So at this point, really just a question of what was your strategy going in? Did you care about more of a narrow time frame? Did you care about the bigger picture standpoint? Because big picture wise, still got that bull flag. 
Next one, GWAV, and this one is, as far as I'm concerned, officially a pump and dump. What do I mean by that? Because I realize that's always uh, a pretty big claim. So this green line here, which I talked about previously, what did this green line represent? Well, this was essentially where the price was before the absolute massive explosion. Now let's take a look at where the price is. Let me zoom in here just so we can take note. And you can see the price is actually down below where it started. So in other words, to zoom back out, price was here, huge explosion, and has now gone not only back to where it started, but is below where it started. If that's not a pump and dump, I don't know what is. Now, I don't mean a pump and dump in the sense of this is some shady company being run out of you know some sweatshop in Somalia. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that from a price action standpoint, that's exactly what happened. Pump and then a dump right back to where it was. And at that point, probably be the last video I do unless this thing comes back to life. Because as of right now, not a whole lot else to, else to talk about other than the fact that this thing just uh, returned not only back to where it started, but even lower. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online webinar that I'm offering next week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box you can use to sign up. Or if you're watching right at my website, there's an area on the page you can use to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free webinar. Next one, NIO, and overall, good solid day today. Uh, nothing explosive, but it's continuing to grind higher and higher, and at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. So from a support standpoint, a couple different choices. I'm kind of interested in this one right here. Not kind of, I'm interested in it because that's why I'm drawing the tread line here. Uh, but and on that tread line, right at that level. Now, is this an absolute muscle level? It's not, but if the price can stay above there, in my mind, that would certainly illustrate a good amount of upwards pressure and strength. But even if the price falls below it, you still have a couple other key areas. You have the pink line right there, the 200 period moving average as support. And then you have the purple line, the 50 period moving average as support. In regards to levels of resistance, nothing fancy. In fact, let me just double check. Is this going? Yeah, okay. Glad I checked. I'm not sure if it hit it exactly, but this high right here, close. So at 555, which again is coming from back here a few weeks ago, was an area of resistance. And you can see right there, it didn't hit it exactly, but got very, very close. But more of the story is I'm not saying the price can't break above there. I'm just saying that right there, it makes sense why the price did struggle at that location. So moving forward, 555 will be public enemy number one. But all things considered, good solid back half of the week here for NIO. Next one, AMD. And first off, wow, check out the last 30 minutes on this one. Big move upwards, and a lot of the, the tech stocks and such are, are running here the last 30 minutes. And what I'm very curious about is right here. Notice how the price is right up to that purple line. So main question mark headed into next week is the price not only going to be able to break above it, but stay above it. And I say that because that purple line, the price has broken up above it several times. I mean, going through the history here, multiple times breaking up above it. But when it comes to staying above it, nope, 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 nope. So moving forward, question one, can the price break above it? But question number two, can the price stay up above it? And if the price can stay above it, that's gonna be in my mind, the genuine true um, sign of strength. And a secondary level of resistance to keep an eye on, gonna be that tread line right there. So public enemy number one, purple line there, and then that tread line right there, public enemy number two. In terms of areas of support, keep a close eye on that uh, pink line right there, 200 period moving average, and very, very impressive turnaround because at one point, that line had been violated. Things were looking very bad. And then the brakes got slammed on, got back up to that level, a small little pullback, found support there again. And now you're witnessing the rest of it right here. So yes, very strong last 30 minutes. It'll be interesting to see if this momentum carries into next week. Next one, TSLA. And like I was just saying with AMD, a lot of these stocks all of a sudden last 30 minutes, very, very strong. And you can see right here via this candlestick, huge explosion. With all that being said, nothing has really changed because it is still just the sideways channel pattern, which I've been talking about. And it's just a lot of chopping back and forth, including today when the price, once again, during that early part of the day, got rejected right at the top part of that channel. So 180, 25-ish, give or take a little bit, still remains that key level. And like AMD, just because the price breaks above it, case in point, both there and there, you wanna be careful because this does have a history of being those fake breaks where the price gets above it. And then it's like somebody you know, fl flips the switch and the momentum just disappears. So keep an eye on that. But also, I mean, it's still got a long ways to go before it's even up there. Um, so that still remains a key area of resistance. And then as far as key areas of support, nothing new to report. Still that green line down there at 172.75. But yes, got to give credit where credit's due. 
Good solid volume last 30 minutes. Great looking candle. Let's see if this carries into Monday. Next, BURU, and this is one of these. That's a very ugly looking chart, but you longer time viewers know that I'm not gonna say, but there can be opportunity in the ugly. And that opportunity has everything to do with the pink line right there, 200 period moving average, which you would think could act as support. And the cherry on top is that it has already acted as support once. Now, does that mean for sure guaranteed it'll act as support again? Of course not, that's why risk management matters. But the entire premise here is yes, very, very strong start. I'm gonna thank poorer souls that bought right there. Hopefully they're using stop losses. But for those people that are still just watching, big gap up, nasty, nasty, nasty pullback. But this is one of these situations where when it seems like everybody has given up, usually those are the best times to buy. And that's what this whole uh, premise is built around. This thing is so nasty. Have people finally given up? And when the people give up, is that the moment where it's gonna turn around? And we have this area right here that could very well provide that bounce point, given it is the famous 200 period moving average, and given it has already provided support once. So once again, to reiterate, just because it's bounced from there once does not mean it'll for sure happen again, uh, but it's certainly a valid thought process to say, you know, very nasty move down. Is this thing getting ready to turn itself back around? We'll see what happens. Next one, TQQQ. And yes, last 30 minutes here, very, very impressive, especially, I mean, with this thing, got absolutely beat down all the way here. And now to think it's recovered back up to that green line support and is now up above it. Very, very impressive afternoon here. Very, very impressive last 30 minutes. So yes, technically speaking, 62 is still considered a level of support. I do wanna add in one more level though now that we have more data. Uh, although this just shows how big the bounce was because yes, technically speaking, next level of support, essentially down there at 59, which I totally understand, that's really far away from where the price is right now. But that just shows how big of a bounce it actually was today. So those would be the two areas of support. In terms of levels of resistance, next key battleground to watch very closely, that pink line right there, the 200 period moving average, followed by the purple line, 50 period moving average, followed by this area up here at 64.14. So yes, if this bounce is gonna continue, there's a lot of resistances that is gonna need to fight through, but uh, anyway, look at it. This was a good start to, to recovering, good start to building momentum. So let's see if it carries in the next week. And just as an FYI, I'm gonna do a bonus Bitcoin analysis here in just a second if you notice that from the title. But for you stock traders, I'll let you go here and just one final time, invite you to the class. Go get signed up for it. It'll be next week, Thursday, June 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. It is genuine live event. So bring your questions. I will be happy to answer them there live and uh, we can, uh, we'll have a good time. Now let's talk some Bitcoin. One quick clarification here. I'm now looking at the four hour time frame, meaning each one of these represents four hours and not 30 minutes. And that is because Bitcoin is open 24 seven. And I want this analysis to be relevant for as long as possible. Um, and I'm just gonna you know, pretty much assume that you're watching this video, let's call it Sunday afternoon and just walk you through some questions. So nothing new here to report. Um, so I'm going to quickly get to, you know, the, the main questions here. So with the first thing that you just want to check on is where's the price at relative to that line here and that line down there. If it is somewhere between those two lines, then you have one word to summarize the current action in Bitcoin, whether you're watching this a couple hours from now or a couple days from now, and that is consolidation. Consolidation of what? Well, let me extend this out. Actually, get this trend line extended out more. But consolidation of the overall bull pennant pattern. So like I said, as long as the price, whenever you're watching this, between those two levels, consolidation. There another way you could be answering the question is, well, actually, Clay, the price is up above that line. Well, in that situation, you now have a bullish breakout. How good of a breakout? Well, how far up above that red line is it? The further up above, the more strength, the more attractive the breakout actually is. The flip side is also true if you're saying, well, Clay, actually, the price is down below that level. Okay, well, how far down below it? That would be a bearish breakdown. That would be a failure of the pattern. How bad of a failure? Well, how far down below that line is it? So no need to overcomplicate this stuff. Walk yourself through those questions and that'll keep you up to date on the current status of Bitcoin. But right now, as I speak, just simply consolidation. And as I invited the Bit or the stock traders, I'm inviting you as a Bitcoin and crypto trader, go get signed up for this free class. What you learn about can and definitely should be used within the world of Bitcoin and crypto. So like I said, it'll be next week, Thursday, June 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, hit that like, but leave a comment. If you have a request for me uh, for to include a, something in a future one, like I said, let me know down the, in the comment section too. But hit that like button, leave a comment, and definitely go get signed up for that free class. And hopefully I'll see you next week.